This one's going to be pretty short uh, than my usual videos. Uh, this build that I made, it was uh, it's designed so you can host it from your internet, so you can use it at home. You don't if you're getting sick and tired of paying for services, which I did. That's why that's half the reason why I got into this stuff. That and also selling my services to people because they're willing to pay for it for some odd reason. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you this and show you what to do and how to configure your uh, router and everything. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so first thing, uh, you, don't, you don't need to do anything with the listener. The, the listener's already set up for you. The source is here if you want to edit it or use do something to it um, also gi giving you a CPU uh, key generator so uh, I think this is pretty self-explanatory okay so you're gonna get a, so when you buy a, a KV it usually comes with a CPU key uh, just put it in here or some random 16 digit number and then it'll it'll generate the bin for a uh, random bin for you. I wonder if this works. Well, I guess it does work. Or you can just hit generate and it'll generate something random for you. All right, that looks pretty cool. And then obviously put that on your HDDD drive, HDD drive. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little README. I'm not really gonna go over that. Okay, so what we're gonna need is uh, your ex uh, external uh, IP address. So let me launch up web browser here real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so we're gonna go to Google. Just type in what's my IP address. And then there you go, it's your public IP address. This is what you're gonna put in your stealth client. And we're gonna go to network. Actually, we're on the globals. It's under tools. Right, there we go. We're on port uh, 3000. Let's see what port this is on, because I do not remember. 3000, all right. I'm going to run it. By the way, for uh, any of you that out there that are new to this and don't know, you enable to build these uh, Xbox images, extension images or whatever. You need uh, Visual Studio 2010, and you need full installation of Xbox Neighborhood, not just the partial Xbox Neighborhood that you just you get, but you need you need to install the full installation. It, it'll it'll give you an option which one do you want to install. There's a quick version and then the full install. Click the full install. Okay. I'm going 
going to put this <clears throat> then you're going to copy these two the INI file and the Xbox stealth uh, extension we just made over to your 360 I gotta get my IP here Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually going to go ahead and turn on the rainbow. These are all false. <clears throat> All right, so uh, before we connect to your listener, we have to uh, forward uh, the stealth port 3000 to your PC through your router if you're not using a router I do not know what you need to do because to be honest most people I know in my life I met anywhere in the world use a freaking router uh, but if you don't use a router, you got to figure out some way to get this uh, the internet connection through this this port. Uh, you have to figure out how to get your Xbox uh, uh, to forward to your PC. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we're also gonna we have to allow it through the firewall, our your firewall as well. So let's go with the firewall. Do the firewall first. So you're going to do um oh, firewall. It's this one control panel. Um, there we go. Yep. Windows Windows Defender firewall advanced settings. Click on inbound rules. And then just click new rule. Port 3000. Then allow connection through. I think I've already got mine here set up. Make sure you select TCP as well on your new bound rule to allow it through the firewall. Okay, and then for the router, you're going to go to your port forward, forwarding section. Uh, you don't have to add that on here. This is TP TCP connection, but you can do whatever. Just... 
You gotta get your IP as well. Got that. 111. All right, that should be set up. <clears throat> All right, so then we should be uh, good to go, I think, here. Yeah. This, yeah. You, uh, you're you going to be able to last. This is the last. This is with the lasting method. This has the math lasting method all. It was ported over from some sources, but it, it's all in, in uh, built into this uh, this server so you'll last a long time on it on your uh, 360 okay Waiting for my Xbox to boot up here and connect. I had a lot of people asking me for this uh, service. Been wanting this. Maybe I need to do something. There we go. Okay, I guess you have to you open you have to uh port forward not only the stealth port which was 3000 but also um what's it called uh port 80 as well which is the which is uh, the TCP port because that is what it runs off of All right, and just so you don't think I'm uh, bullshitting you. I'll show you that I am connected and I'm on live.
All right, there we go. Connection is ridiculous because I'm running all this stuff. So you can see what it all looks like. There is no cheats and there is no GTA 5, just so you're aware. This is though, it's got all the bypasses in it. Okay, all right. All right, well, I uh, hope you uh, found that, um, I don't know a good word for it. I hope you found that good. Uh, I hope it, it'll work out for you. So, um,